star because he's got <laughs> Michelin stars, restaurants, TV shows. Uh, the best reviewed products here at HSN are from Chef Curtis Stone. So this is the final show of the visit. So you better be you, feeding me. I was hoping you were going to ride in on one of Tony Little's bikes to, to come and shout, start the show. Now, I, I might guys, have. <laughs> I just want to clarify one thing before I get into my waffle maker. This was yesterday's Today Special, yes. right? It's called the All Day Pan. This is its big brother, the All Day Pot. We brought in 5,000 of the All Day Pot. We haven't cooked in it yet. We're going to do it to the, in this <laughs> We block. haven't even shown it yet, practically, but yeah. We're down to 1,000. So you've been finding it online. I don't blame you. It is the most beautiful pot. If you want to jump ahead and get it before they all sell out, you can. We've still got three colors. How many quarts is the big one? Um, it is 5.7, so Five, almost, okay. almost, six point, almost six quarts. Now, by the way, the Today Special from yesterday, we still have it, yeah. right? There's only a handful. We sold 30,000 of them. <laughs> There's a couple of thousand still to go around. Okay. So if, if you missed out on it yesterday, you can still get it. Vanessa, I'm going to hand you those. Go and warm them up for me because I'll be cooking in them soon. Thank you, my darling. But let's talk waffles. This is what happens. You pour a little waffle batter into the bottom of your waffle maker, right? Then what you do is you fill it with whatever you like. Watch what I do. Hash brown, um, some cheese. I know you think I'm crazy. Some cheese. <laughs> I don't know what's some happening. This, this is my bacon. This is that delicious bacon. Even a piece of egg, right? Now, when I say stuffed, I wasn't joking. Then you go ahead and pour a little bit more waffle batter on top. And you drop the lid. You come back eight minutes later, and it is dead set that simple. Watch this. I open uh. it up. All of those ingredients get squashed in. Look how thick this is. It's not a waffle maker. It is a stuffed waffle maker. You can see the thickness that you're dealing with here. So that beautiful thick waffle. And then when I cut through it, just wait for it because it blows your mind every single time. Oh Have my, oh no. Oh that. gosh, that looks insanely that fun. Something? Oh, that is so good. By the way, everybody gets two and everybody gets a black and then you choose your other color. Either two black, a black and a cranberry, a black and a red, a black and a silver, and a black and a turquoise. The red and the cranberry. The cranberry is a little bit more pinkish right. and then the red is the classic, you know, Curtis Stone red. Exactly. Next, by the way, this is just perfect for any kind of leftovers that you might have. I've actually used a little Mexican chorizo over here you can use barbecue you can use leftover chili you can put oh you my. can just use it with cheese <laughs> of course it goes sweet or savory i'm just gonna that cut. seems like a lunch sandwich not just breakfast oh yeah are you kidding me exactly that's exactly what we're talking about can you here. use other batter besides waffle batter in making these of course you can you can do a cake batter in fact i've done a cake batter in my very next one have a look at this and then i'm going to show you the animation because i really want you to see how we do it this is actually a marble cake so what vanessa's done is she She's gone ahead and taken two different batters of cake. So it makes a wonderful cake, by the way. I'll cut it into quarters. And this is a great way. I've got young kids. So this is an awesome thing to do for the kids because you give them a corner of a cake instead of a whole cake. <laughs> <laughs> a little powdered sugar. And then, of course, maybe you want to hit it with a little whipped cream. There we go. Um, maybe a little frosting. It's totally up to you, of course, what you serve it with, but it's just such a beautiful thing. All right, let's jump into the animation because I really want you to see what you're taking home. First of all, you don't get one, you get two. And that means that every four minutes you can pump out another waffle for the hungry mob that is in your lounge room. <laughs> or maybe you want to gift one of these to someone you love and keep one. All you do is pour a little waffle batter. It can be store-bought or you can make it yourself. Totally up to you. Fill it with whatever you like. And then it can be sweet or savoury. And then, of course, you can go ahead and um, put a little bit more waffle batter. You take it out. It takes eight minutes start to finish. We're giving you a book with 20 recipes, and these are all of the inspirational recipes that you're going to receive. And then, of course, um, when you get this home, you take it out of the box. Best of all, there's no controls. There's mm -hmm. absolutely nothing to I know. have to start eating these, or they'll please, take them away. Please, eat it. <laughs> I Enjoy mean, it. it's crispy on the outside. Yeah. I mean, this is, it has kind of like the consistency of like a churro. Right. I bet you could do like cinnamon sugar on the outside and make it like a waffle churro. Helen, look at what I'm doing. This is a piece of leftover pie. Mm, That's so a piece good. of pumpkin pie. Uh, pe a pecan pie. I'm going to just put my oh. waffle batter over the top. That should be illegal. Right? You <laughs> drop the lid. Eight minutes later, it doesn't even look like that, that there's anything in it. It just looks like a, a normal waffle. And then you're like, whoa, why is that waffle so thick? Let me show it to you. Because there's a piece of uh, pecan pie inside. I cut through it. Mm -hmm. Isn't that good? They made me, they gave me a fork. Look at that. <laughs> look at oh that my even. gosh, that, I've never seen anything like that. I, mean, I love <laughs> desserts and that looks absolutely 
amazing. This is so good. Oh my gosh. Isn't that fabulous? And I mean, the best mm. part of all, of course, is the way it tastes. It is <laughs> really so good. fun. I'm going to hit this with a little bit of whipped cream. And you know me when I say a little bit. Maybe you want to drizzle a little caramel sauce over. It is just such a beautiful, beautiful, fun thing to do. Now, Sunday mornings for me is about family. It's about getting my kids together. They, their bandmates come over and they all stand there jamming in the backyard. <laughs> okay. And I make waffles for everyone. I and love I tell it. You what, it is really, really fun. It seems very quick. How about how long does it take to make one? Eight minutes start to finish. Eight minutes. Well, here's the waffle batter. Now, of course, oh. we give you recipes to make waffle batter. I might batter. have to try this but one. But if you want to use a boxed <laughs> waffle batter, go for it. Here's what I do. I take a couple of slices of cheese. Be generous with the cheese. These are my chicken bites. They're coming up, by the way. I throw in three or four pieces of the chicken bites. A little bit of hot sauce, because I like that too. And then you just cover the toppings, those fillings, with a little bit more of the waffle batter, right? So you literally just pour that over the top and then you close that lid. It will squash it all down for you. It'll turn it into a beautiful waffle. This is one that we put in eight minutes ago and check it out. First of all, this little cage that comes, that's what allows you to get it beautiful and thick and you can see the thickness of that the waffle. The edges right have been waffleized. Isn't that? They sure have. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new word. <laughs> that didn't exist before this show. I just made that up. Waffleized. Waffleized. I'm going to go on through, cut straight through it. Let's have a little look. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. Look Chicken at that. Chicken and waffles all built into the same little mouthful. I mean, just so good and simple. I'm going to drop that down. Now, if you like, this is actually the buffalo chicken bites. We're going to show those a little later on. So I'm putting some blue cheese mm -hmm. over the top, maybe a little chive oh. if you want a little bit more the, And the chicken sauce. bites are available. We've got the item number up on the screen if you'd like to grab those. Oh, yeah. Oh, these are so good. They're so fluffy. Is it so uh, crunchy on the outside. I mean, I'm just, mm. I can't take a bite because I know as soon as I do, I'll lose concentration <laughs> and I won't be able to keep going. They really are so good. What, listen to me. I come home at midnight from work, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Starving in the middle of the night because I've been cooking for everyone else. And guess what I do? <laughs> I pull this out. I make myself a snack, usually using leftovers. I use barbecue, provolone, like leftover pulled pork. So good. Here's what I do first. Cheese goes down. Then that leftover pulled pork. This is sort of a bit of a take on a Cubano. Throw in a couple of slices of ham. Then I've got a little bit of pickle. You can build it all the way up so it almost looks like it's too much. And then what you do is you just cover it with just a little bit more of that waffle batter and close that lid. Eight minutes is all it takes. We've only got a minute to go here, you guys. And so you can use it, of course, as just waffles. You don't have to put stuff right. in it as well. It's Doesn't very versatile stuff. and it's great for everyone. And, and you know, you can use this in an RV, in a dorm room. It can oh, be yeah. used anywhere and you're getting two of them. It's It's... You know, keep one, gift one, and, and just, or if it's like everybody's making the sandwiches all at once, you, you can each have, you have more than one. Oh, that looks so good. Doesn't that look it's like a waffle Reuben. <laughs> well, it's a waffle Cubano. The Cubano. I yep. mean, come on, it is oh, just yeah, right, with the pickles. so tasty with the pickles. I put a big dollop of mustard on the side, maybe a little bit of parsley over the top. You're a, that's a great idea for a dorm room, are you kidding me? I mean, your, chi your kid could live <laughs> off this, literally. <laughs> Yeah, so incredibly easy. All right, well, the item number is on your screen. It's 799-814. Uh, We're going to do one more uh, and show you. This is like with the bananas. This is bananas oh, and Nutella. This Nutella. is named, I call it the Emerson because my beautiful little boy, Emerson, he uh, absolutely loves oh, the banana teller. I, yeah, my daughter loves dollop. Nutella too. One more dollop. You close it. Eight minutes later, have a look at how it comes out. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. You just know that this is something special. I'll tell you what. You want a good relationship with your children? <laughs> your grandchildren? Do this for them. I mean, have a look at that. Can we see it on the side? I'll lift it up for you. I mean, come on, you guys. The flavor of this is sick. Oh, look at that. Wow, okay. Last shows of the visit right here right now with Chef Curtis Stone. We're going to be showing you all the goodies that we have. We have a couple of tools that you're able to grab. I think what I think we